Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Factory Town. In the last episode, we completed the tutorial, and uh, now we are on our own, and need to figure out how to move forward from here. The last thing we did was research farming, uh, which we completed, and I think we will move on and start researching something else straight away. Mm. What should we research? Hmm. Hmm. Either basic logistics or forestry, I think. Um, I think we'll do basic logistics so that we can start getting some uh, conveyor belts, which will improve our automation level. So let's get started on that. It takes four. Uh, writing materials, uh, so that will be four paper for us, and two red coins per cycle. So let's get started on that. We did unlock farms, so I think what we want to do is set up a farm somewhere, and this looks like a reasonable spot for it. Yeah, let's uh, build a farm. farm down there oh, we need some stone brick so we can't do that just now hmm and this guy is stealing all our stone brick to provide to our houses to pro generate red coins so that we can do our research so we actually need him to bring the stone brick over there but we're simply not producing enough and we have it on worker speed 5. So is there something else we could provide that generates red coins instead of the stone brick so that we hmm don't use that up. So wool we could do which would actually also provide two instead of one red coins. So that's nice. Or cloth even better. That provides four. So what do we need to make cloth? Um, let's take a look at a workshop. Where do we have one there? Cloth we can make with either wool, one wool to each cloth, or two cotton to each cloth. Wool, I think we need to, we'll, we'll need an animal pasture to do, which we can't make yet. Cloth. Uh, or cotton is something that is on the map somewhere. So let's see if we can find some cotton. That's apple trees, that's apple trees, that's herbs, that's herbs. What's that? Gold, wow. Uh, more herbs, more herbs. Where's there some cotton? More herbs. More herbs, more herbs. Is there no cotton? Well, there is some cotton up there. Not very convenient location. It looks like that's all the cotton there is. Hmm. Okay. So we won't be doing that. Which kind of sucks. Hmm. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to stop him for a second until we have enough uh, stone bricks to build our farm because we want our farm. But let's plan where we want it. So I think we'll want it here. Yeah, here. Let's build it. And now we can build farm tiles. So what's great about farms is because these guys, they are picking uh, all of this grain and they're basically using up the resources, which uh, is not good in the long term. But the farm will produce uh, the, the grain and it will actually replant these grain tiles as well. And if we build some farm tiles, we can plant grain on those and it'll re rebuild them as well or uh, replant them as well. 
So let's set up a shoot from this farm going down here. And let's actually delete these workers because we don't need them right now. Oops. There. And we can also delete this shoot. And as you can see, the farm is producing pretty fast. Uh, so that is excellent. I, what I think we will do, we will put an extra worker or two in there. We want to keep uh, this input uh, basically full. So I think we'll put one more in there so that it keeps having some uh, some uh, some grain to work with and produce uh, flour out of. So we put the farm up to five workers and let's uh, let's see if it can't produce enough for uh, for this grain mill to pretty much uh, produce continually. And it looks like it. So that is excellent. But now we can start this wagon, bringing stuff over here again, so that we are generating our red coins for our research. All right, good. So we have a farm set up there. Do we want to set another farm up for herbs or something maybe? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to stockpile it in a barn. Oh, maybe tomatoes, I don't know. What? Let's have a look at economy and see. Uh, tomatoes also just provide one. Hmm. Dragon fruit. Oh, what's that? Okay. Uh, bread. I don't think we can make that yet. I would guess that we need a bakery for that. Um fish I don't think we can make that either hmm okay I don't think there's anything else we can uh, can make right now that we desperately want but we will need because since the cotton is all the way up here we will need to get some uh, animal pastures up and running as soon as possible because we need cloth to be able to make our cloth conveyor belts and we're basically not going to get started on that until we have animal pastures as well so we should have researched that first but okay never mind so is there any automating that we want to do while we wait I don't think so I don't think so. Our barn here is getting full of wood wheels, which we'll also need for uh, the conveyor belts, I think. So that's good. Oh, now we can see that it's actually backing up here. So it's producing more. Uh, the farm is producing more grain than the grain mill can, can mill. So let's reduce it by one and see if uh, that ratio isn't reasonable. All right, so what we could do is plan out our base a little bit while we're waiting. So we have the farm here. We want another farm over here, I think. And And I think we will put a forest down over here for uh, harvesting trees and making wood, which we will need to make wood wheels to put into our cloth conveyor belts. Because we want to automate the process of making cloth conveyor belts, I think, because I think we'll need a lot of them. So, so let's do that. Uh, let's upgrade some of these houses to level 3. So it's done. 
No, I think they're all level three, right? Yeah. And we have 52 capacity of workers and we're only using 41, so that's good. We have a decent supply of yellow coins and red coins is also looking okay uh, as of right now. How far are we with this research? 30 out of 40. So what's actually taking a while here is the lumber mill. It does take it five seconds to to make one piece of paper. So maybe we should should we set up one more lumber mill? I think we should. Let's do that. And we will build it. Let's see. Do you have water here? No. We have water there, but now then it can't get out. Um, Let's just do some landscaping here. Oops. Didn't want to do that. All right, so now we should have room f to build our lumber mill. Yeah. Build it uh, right there. Make more paper and take uh, let's see three workers and supply wood to that. I think it will be easier to do from there. And what we could actually do is build a chute. Can we get a chute down there? No. What a bummer. So let's see, can we do something about that so we can? Should be able to. There. And can we get a shoot down there now? Yes, we can. I think we'll delete that and do like that. Delete that. Ah, come on. Dang it. There we go. And bring it over there. And then tell you to bring the wood to there instead. Where are you going? Okay, you are the last one, so take wood and bring it there. And it'll roll down the chute and into the lumber mill. And we will oh, get another wagon. Or do we need a wagon? Yeah, I think we do. Let's build a wagon and tell you to take paper from that to the school. Oh, completed research, basic logistics. So, one ways, barrier gates, cloth conveyor belts, uh, steam power, and intermediate logistics. All right. So conveyor belts. Conveyor belts are critical tools for automating your town. Place them on a building's front tile and resources will automatically be output on them and carried away. You can also directly feed resources into any other side or level of a building from a belt. All right, sounds good. So let's get animal pastures going here because we, as I said, we need to produce uh, wool to make, be able to make our uh, conveyor belts because the only cotton on the map that I can find is right there and that is a long way away and not in a very good spot. I, I truly don't see any other cotton anywhere. Let me know if you see some cotton that I'm missing. Uh, there's cotton up there actually. Not a whole lot but there's cotton. Okay. Yeah, we uh, will produce wool and make uh, our cloth uh, out of that. Where where have you been? Where would you go? Oh damn, he's has to, he has to go all the way around. 
Okay, that is not going to be very convenient. Let's see if we can't fix that. There we go. That's better. I guess it was too steep here or something. But the school is going and it has some input to work with, which is good. So we actually have our animal pastures pretty soon, which will finally let us move on. All our houses have two happiness now, and if we look at it, whoops, animal pasture is completed. But if we take a look at a house here, they now need bandages, or potions, or salvies for the next level of happiness. And to be able to upgrade, I think, no? We just need cloth to be able to upgrade, which we are going to get started on setting up now. So let's uh, set up a pasture. Where do we want it? Hmm. Let's put it down here. And we want to produce wool. So what do we require to do that? Animal feed, which we need to make in a grain mill and water. So let's set up wool and let's uh, just do some landscaping here so that it gets some water. There we go. Let's uh, make it a little bit smaller there. So now this has water. Yeah, we can see up here, 20 water. Um, animal feed we need actually to build another farm that will produce uh, whoops. and we need another grain mill which we'll put down I think there and set that up to make animal feed and we will want you to make grain which you're already doing and we want the grain to move go over to the grain mill and we want the animal feed to go over to the pasture and we want the wool to go over to a workshop and start making cloth. Let's see, can wool go down this? Nope. That's too bad. So let's get a worker and tell him to pick up wool and put in the workshop. And how long does it take? It only takes one, uh, four seconds. It takes four seconds to make one cloth. It takes six seconds to make one wool. So it's not a great ratio, but it is what it is. Uh, how much time does it take to make animal feed? Only two seconds. Um, so let's put you up there. So you're going all the time, which you basically are now, I think, more or less. More or less. Let's put some more workers. Oh, we're out of. We're out of workers. All right. So let's build some more houses, so that we can get more workers. There we go. And upgrade them to level two immediately. And let's just put a path down here. It looks nicer with paths, uh, paths I think. So, all right, let's uh, get you up to a little bit faster speed. 
I think we'll put you on max because you should be able, you should be getting enough animal feed to to do that. And you're actually producing first fertilizer as well. So let's build a barn. Where's the barn? Barn. And put that down here. And then get a worker and take fertilizer from there to there. And this is full now, of course, because I forgot to take uh, the cloth out. But let's do that. Um, what are we? We're not researching anything. Let's research forestry before we forget it. Oh, you're out of uh, wood, and you're full of wood. So what we could do is let's delete these three guys and see if we can't be clever. And uh, no, we can't actually because. If we make this shoot go over to this mill as well, then we can't get uh, the paper out of uh, of the other uh, lumber mill. So let's just get three guys going. Okay, so we have cloth, and let's see. In order to make uh, cloth conveyor belts we need uh, I guess they're made in workshops so let's see cloth conveyor belt we need cloth one cloth two wood wheels and one stone brick so let's take this cloth Oh, uh, new structure unlocked, tree planter, which means our forestry research is done. Let's uh, keep going with research and let's do intermediate logistics. Let's just get all of the red coin research done because then uh, that's out of the way. But let's build a barn. and output it that way and we want to get a worker and take the cloth out of the barn and then for now we will take a worker and take the cloth and bring it to the general store which will generate even more red coin for us because if you remember uh, cloth uh, where do we have cloth? Cloth actually gives us four red coins, and as opposed to uh, stone brick giving, giving us one. So that is really good. So how much cloth do we have stored here now? 18, 19, and this is f this input is full. So let's uh, set up. Uh, get the uh, worker speed up a little bit so uh, speed is 220 now this output is basically full and so is this so it's going we have a little production chain going here ending up in the barn and then being taken to the general store but we need a workshop uh, to make uh, wood wheels which we will make. Where will we make that? It's getting a little bit cramped here. I think we'll have to move the stonemason and the barn here. Um, which we can do. 
So, but let's. Um, hmm. So we want a workshop making. We have a workshop making uh, cloth. We need a workshop making wood wheels, and then we may need a workshop making uh, cloth conveyor belts. So we will put this down here and set that up to make wood wheels and then we will build another workshop and set that up to make cloth conveyor belts and yeah I think what we're going to do is we're going to delete this for now and just let this uh, wagon empty out the barn no point in wasting uh, all of that stone brick so we're making wood wheels we're making cloth we're making cloth conveyor belts and we need a forester here What do I need to build that? Ah, 20 stone bricks. Terrific. So let's set up uh, our stonemason again. Somewhere. I think we'll set it up here. And make stone bricks. And get all of you guys to start harvesting stone and bring it over there again. And the last one, there you go. So producing a lot of stone, uh, stone bricks. And this barn is empty now, so let's just leave the two of you and then build another barn. We can build that here. And we will get you to take the stone brick and put it in there and we will give you all your workers back so that you're producing as fast as you can provided you are getting enough stone brick of course and we will uh, build a forester as soon as we have oops, uh, 20 stone bricks uh, in stock which shouldn't take too long I hope Where are you going? Why is he running all that way? Let's build a path here. Let's put a path through here as well. Just to make things a bit faster. How many do we have now? Nine? And we needed what? 20. Damn. Uh, okay. All right, well, we're getting there. So what we want to do is we want to set up the forester down here and have it bring trees in for the uh, workshop here, making the wood wheels. And then we want a guy here to take the wood wheels and bring over there. And actually, we need the forester here, and then we need another workshop making wood planks. And I want to see how big the forester is before I put anything else down. Uh, so, forester will put you down like so and workshop making oh, this is getting messy it's getting very messy so I'll put 
this workshop down there and set you up to make planks. Oh, that's not a workshop, that's a lumber mill. My bad. Uh, lumber mill. Make planks, please. And the forester is working and it's actually full of both uh, wood and apples. I guess it's reaching the apple trees as well, yeah. So that's not half bad. So what we could do is we could take one guy and tell him to take the apples and take them to the food market. And then we need a shoot. No, I think we will take it uh, that way. Nah. That way. So now this is getting wood to produce planks. And then we need a... Actually, this one guy isn't enough. Uh, so we will make a wagon instead uh, and put down here and sell it to take apples to the food market and then we will because then this should uh, continue soon ah because darn it can I select recipe and say don't make apples please yes I can so let's just delete the shoot. And once this, uh, okay, it's empty of apples now. Good. And there, there, there. We can delete you again. Now this is going, and we want. Actually, we wanted that wagon anyway, because we want that wagon to take planks and bring to that workshop. So now that should be making wood wheels, which it is. And this is getting wood wheels, so now we just need to get cloth from... And this is filling up very nicely with cloth. cloth. Um, let's build another barn. Oh. Because we need, want somewhere where we can store the uh, uh, the cloth conveyor belts as well. So let's uh, build a, another wagon. Oh, we're out of uh, workers. So let's upgrade these houses. To three as well and build the wagon what not enough what there we go okay and bring uh, cloth from here to there Are you... where is... Um, this lumber mill is not producing a whole hell of a lot of... Hmm. Let's... You know what? Let's delete that and delete that. And buildings... Build a forester. Why can't I build a forester? Oh, because I don't have planks. So let's build a lumber mill. There. And make planks. And you chop down trees. Make me some planks. And 
let's just put down a worker here and ask him to take planks to the base so that we start uh, building up a stock of those as well. All right, so we're at the workshop there. We need to bring from the barn, we need to bring another worker and we need to bring stone brick down to this workshop making our uh, cloth conveyor belts and bang we're making our very first cloth conveyor belt excellent and let's bring uh, a worker in here and take that over there nice all right so we're making cloth conveyor belts which will allow us to start uh, doing a lot of automation, which is fantastic. So, um, yeah, let's uh, do that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and uh, see you next time.